first award goes to the Iroise Natural Marine Park. Bravo. Known for its red list of endangered species, IUCN has now launched a green list of protected areas at the 6th World Parks Congress. Remarkably, the French Overseas Territory, Guadeloupe National Park. 23 sites were awarded this label. After the awards, it's time to work on the first site manager's workshop of the listed areas. In marine protected areas are very different in different parts of the world from uh, you know, large scale marine areas, so let's say in, in, in Canada or some in, uh, you know, off the coast of Brazil, uh, down to small, very small <laughs> locally managed marine areas in the Pacific. So the idea of the green list is it's a, it's a standard and the standard is about quality and it's quality in the governance and the equity of that governance, how fair it is, but also in the effectiveness of the management and what the actual outcomes of, of that marine protected area in this case are. So we have a very simple structure that outlines the, real, the, the core pillars of what makes a good marine protected area and then those are translated into the local context by developing indicators for each of those criteria, for each of those pillars. So an individual uh, protected area can measure itself in, a, in, in its own context against the global standard. For an MPA to be recognized also at the international level could be very interesting from many different kind and many different levels. What is the role in achieving, for example, the CBD IH targets in terms of, of, of protected areas, in terms of biodiversity conservation and so on. But it could be also a good way to uh, improve the capacity to work with tourism so they will be better area also for a, an economic point of view. Three French marine protected areas have been included on the list the Cerbère Bagnols Natural Reserve, the National Park of Guadeloupe and the Iroise Natural Marine Park. So what's going to change? First, we are proud of it. It's a recognition of what we are doing every day and um, all the team is uh, uh, really proud uh, of the label. But uh, what's going to change uh, probably is uh, uh, USN categories will now uh, will progress to take into account all the management system of a protected area which is a real progress and a real good thing to do. It's really about removing the, the paper parks from existence and having some mechanism by which we can really get commitment from protected area agencies, protected area managers, uh, those who, you know, who really are interested and benefit from the protected areas to join us to, to try and raise the standard, raise the performance and to uh, start to you know, recognise what is working, where it's working, how it's working and get some more positive results from our marine protected areas.